Okay, Rod, 2 0 victory, you must be over there. Yeah, very much so. Um, all we look to do is try and get the points, you know. As far as I'm concerned, performances come second best, but uh, I thought we played well. I thought we had to stick in there at times, and uh, we had chances to really put the game to bed, um, especially when Dico went through and then Kudos. Um, didn't manage to put the rebound on, which was a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, I thought the lads worked very hard. It's going to be a tough game. We don't know a lot about Gloucester, they don't know about, a lot about us. So, really, um, and as I said before today, most of my players ain't even played out on the pitch yet. I don't even know what Chelsea's about. So, you know, that was quite new to them. But overall, you know, we set out to get the three points and have a good performance. And I thought the boys done that. And, um, and I thought Kudos took, you know, especially the second goal, I thought it was outstanding. But um, yeah, it's nice for him to get a couple of goals uh, on his own. Living. And it looked like it was going to be a repeat of last season's story where a few refereeing decisions went, went against us. But in the end, the players managed to fight through it and eventually also we got win. Yeah, I basically said to the, the, the boys in there before the start, I just said, look, you know, you're going to have to allow to uh, these referees and these officials, you're going to have to try and deal with it. And yet again, you see sort of some real funny decisions go on. But, you know, overall, listen, it's not about today, about the officials, it's about us coming back in pre season. Um, we have worked hard. I think you can see the quality of player that we've brought to the club. And, uh, you know, there's real competition and as long as the boys are up for that competition, then we should be fine. As far as I'm concerned, I want to turn it into a family in there and I want everybody to back one another. Um, and I think, you know, all I've been listening to uh, on Sky Sports lately is, you know, teams build from a changing room and, and, and that's what we're trying to do. So, as I said, we had four outside the squad today. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of games to play in a short time and just shows you the level. That was a tough game. I mean, from a neutral's point of view, um, to pay to watch that game today and then turn around and say what a good standard of football it is. So, OK, um, over here can be a bit airily at times because it's quite open, it's quite windy and I think the supporters probably understand that, the ones who've been here for quite a while. But, you know, for my players today, we did try and get that into them as well. It, it can turn into a bit of a battle, but I thought we stood up well. I thought the back four looked reassured. Um, you know, Besson, he come out and got some good punches as well. Um, and, you know, the boys in midfield, Churchy, Scotty Davis and Matty Johnson, they worked their socks off and, uh, you know, the, the front three done the rest really. And, you know, I was really pleased. And I felt even with the substitutions, it helped us. Um, Barney will go up there and always give you a shift, you know, and that's what we found, what Barney does for us in pre-season. He will go up against people, so we never give him a clean, uh, a clean header on it, which sometimes helps you get the second ball. Um, but then, you know, Johnny Jones come on, another one today who we signed just recently. And, I've, well, that was a, an unbelievable cross. Um, and that's why we put him on to see if he gives us a bit more quality up there at the top end. And to be fair, the kudos, he's, he's executed it fantastically. So, you know, I think the supporters here have all got to go away and say they've seen a good show in here today. We look like men, we're big, we're strong. Uh, we can play. I don't think we had it all our own way today. I think that, you know, to be fair to Gloucester, they've travelled here and made a little game of it. And you can see that they take points off of people in this division because, you know, they're fairly young, but they're organised, they're fit, they work hard. Um, and to be fair, it's been a tough game for us. So when that second one went in, I was over the moon. And now looking ahead to Tuesday, trip to Welling United is going to be another tough task. There are no easy games in this league and, uh, and, and Gloucester will find that. It's very like the North, you've got to earn your points. And, um, you know, we're going to Welling on Tuesday and I don't know how they got on today, but I'm not interested, don't even want to know. Um, all we do is we go there again Tuesday, hopefully any little, you know, bumps and bruises we got, we'll try and get them assessed from now till Tuesday. Um, but it's still, you know, you're still just coming out of pre-season mode. And, what I was really pleased with today is seeing the lads that have sort of come out of that pre-season mode and stepped in on, on the gas today, which was a little bit of a concern of mine, to be honest. But, um, you know, I think we've signed the right players and I think we've got a lot of, a lot of experience in, in, in the team. Um, we've brought Elliot in to be uh, skipper as well. And I think he talks really well and I think he looks very composed and can play centre half, can play right back. Today we opted for him to go right back. But um, I think there's competition all, all round. You've only got to look at the bench today, very strong. And if you look outside, what we've got outside the squad, it's even stronger. So, you know, overall, um, it's been a good day at the